heavens. Before I got saved, I was a president of a small advertising agency up in New York. And I knew what the task of our company was. To reach out and make you dissatisfied. Dissatisfied with what you have. Because if you're satisfied with what you have, you're not going to buy what we're selling. It's the truth. The world works so hard to get you dissatisfied. And the world is dissatisfied. I flew in the U.S. Navy as an air crewman, so I go to the VA. I don't know, anybody else in here use the VA at all? I was astonished. It was not too long ago that they started their process a little different. Before you can go and see the doctor for my regular checkup, before I see the nurse. And, you know, the nurse, they do these pre-doctor things. They take your blood pressure and your temperature and that kind of stuff. Your vitals, they call them. Don't ever let them take your vitals unless they're willing to give them back. Okay. But what astounded me is the process today is different. Before the nurse takes my temperature, before she takes my blood pressure, she starts asking me questions that they are now required to ask. Do I have suicidal thoughts? Is anybody in my household harming me? These are the questions they now regularly ask because they are so common. Do you know how common suicide is? Over 40,000 people in the U.S. committed suicide last year. Hundreds of thousands of people around the world committed suicide. That is the epitome of despair. You know what despair is? You have no hope. You have no hope. I said to Vicky, I might have asked for a different song, but it's not in your hymn book. I can't get no satisfaction. That's the extent of what I know about that song. The Rolling Stones got famous with that song. They sang that song for the first time in 1965. I wasn't into that kind of music, but I remember that well. 1965. Do you realize that is 50 years ago? Now, if that doesn't astound you, this should. Not long ago, the Rolling Stones did another concert. I mean, I'm about to turn 72. These old guys are bouncing around on the stage. I mean, and they're still singing, I can't get no satisfaction. Will somebody tell them? Will somebody tell them? Will somebody, if you happen to run across Mick Jagger, will you sit down and tell him? Jesus Christ said that those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, they shall be satisfied. Amen. There's an answer. There's always been an answer. But people turn to antidepressant drugs. They turn to everything but Jesus Christ. That's not the answer. Talking about old guys. How about Abraham? <laughs> Abraham was an old guy, you know. It says that in the Bible. It says, he breathed his laugh last and died in a ripe old age, an old man and satisfied with life. That's Genesis 25, verse 8. He was satisfied. He had something that the Rolling Stones didn't. He had something that most of the world didn't. He had a hope. He had a God of hope. He knew that his needs were cared for. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Matthew 5, 6. But it says, it's still in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, continued on, and said, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. You know that verse? Seek his kingdom and his righteousness. Everything else will be taken care of. What you eat, what you drink, your clothing, your food, all of that. If those things are your need, how do you fulfill that need? I'll tell you how. By seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's how. Sometimes we get up, we're, we're, we're looking in all the wrong places. The Rolling Stones are looking all in all the wrong places for satisfaction, for contentment. But so much of the church today is still looking in all the wrong places.
God wants to give you the desires of your heart. Do you not know that it says in Psalm 37? It says, delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. You know that? That's another question, guys. If you don't, go read it again. Psalm 37. It's verse 4. But I'm going to tell you a truth. That when you delight yourself in the Lord, He becomes the desire of your heart. You recognize that your needs change. Your needs are not food and covering. He'll take care of that. That's His promise. You know what your need is? A closer walk with Him. That should be your plea. That's what you need to recognize as your need in your life. He'll take care of all the rest. He wants to give you the desires of your heart, but He wants to be the desire of your heart.